happens today. Cindy Russell from Arts Jubilee, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Chris. Thank you for letting and, me be here. Oh, our <laughs> pleasure. And I can't believe you, you've entertained us enough. We're happy to, you know, bring you on and maybe I can entertain you for the next 10 minutes. Not likely. Um, but I can't believe how fast the summer is going by. The Arts Jubilee Concert Series is such a signature event for the Mount Washington Valley and we're coming up on our last show of the summer. It's true. It's here. And this year we turned things around a little bit and moved the traditional Symphony Pops concert with fireworks mm -hmm. to the finale mm. position. So that's feels what's good. coming. It feels right there. It does. Yes. Um, this Work is, right up to that. <laughs> I know you guys say that this is like the probably most famous concert in the in the probably the White Mountains for for the entire summer, Thanks, and it's uh, it is a great time. So tell us, give us the details about this upcoming okay. concert. Well, the we're at Cranmore Mountain mm -hmm. um, a, again and still and with great pleasure because they're great hosts, and it's a beautiful spot to be. It is. It's uh, uh, quiet in nature's beautiful setting and plenty of room for as many people who want to come. Great parking, indoor restrooms, which is always a boon, and great food and drink on the deck, but people are also permitted to bring their own uh, picnic suppers. Uh, and we, Arch Jubilee permits coolers, but we ask no alcohol. Mm -hmm. We're a family-friendly environment. If you do want a light drink, they do serve them on the deck. So that's the where part. Perfect. The when is Thursday, August 12th. Uh, we have always traditionally had an early concert around 6 o'clock at night so that families who want to arrive stake out their little claim of a uh, spot on the ground and start their picnic supper have some really wonderful entertainment and we're happy th to welcome back Jonathan Sarti and the White Mountain Boys. They're lots and lots of fun. A they local will. group obviously with the name yes. White Mountain Boys, yes, but exactly. Jonathan Sarti, oh, he's, he can kill it, we, he's good. The early concert is usually local talent, but it is the best of the local talent. Right. I mean, we really have some awesome performers, but the nice part about that is they give their a gift of themselves oh, wow. to Arch Jubilee. In other words, there's no budget for right. that part of it. So well, that's, that's we thank everybody publicly when they do that for us. Um, and then we're, we've moved the start of the main concert from 7.30 to 7. Just a little bit yep. a, a tighter time frame, but it works well. Families enjoy it a little more because we're on the earlier side. And at 7 for this particular concert, it's the New England Wind Symphony taking the stage under the direction again of Clayton Poole, whom we've come to love uh, for his great music selection at this Pops concert. And it will be followed by fireworks. It's very difficult to say what time the fireworks will start. <laughs> when it gets dark. Right. It's, it'll be when the concert is over. And yeah, it'll probably be somewhere around 9 o'clock. But the point being, if you're going to come for the fireworks, please come for the concert mm -hmm. because it's a beautiful, uh, full, complete puzzle. Don't yeah. just uh, forsake the music to come for the fireworks. Yeah. Come for it all. You'll miss that. I mean, half the experience is sitting there while the band, they traditionally play the 1812 yes. Overture, Stars yes. and Stripes Forever, yep. as the uh, as the fireworks are going off, or, or just before, and it's, it's, and it's just a lot right of fun. They lead right into it, yes. Yep. And I have to thank Atlas Fireworks Company, who has been Arch Jubilee's fireworks company since we began in 1983, but they were willing to uh, provide part of this program as a sponsorship, wow. and we thank them for that. Uh, times are tough, uh, but budgets are tight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and everybody's budget is tight, which means it's more difficult for people to feel comfortable giving a, a, a large donation when we ask for our annual appeal. And so, you know, the the plain fact is, the people who, who enjoy the performance really have to help. Uh, with the cost of it, yep. which is why we also have our Donate at the Gate program. And um, it, it is still a donation to Arch Jubilee, but instead of coming through halfway through the concert and stepping on people's feet and over their blankets, and we just ask people to donate up front as they enter. And we have asked that adults donate $10, seniors donate $8, Kids 12 and under are free. Right, and it's a small, the value there is incredible. That's yes. a small 
uh, donation for the entertainment that you get mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And this is this is one of the community events that really kind of def makes these mountains such a great place to live in. I, so I agree. We that need to preserve these enhancing things. Enhancing the quality of life that we find because we live here or because we're visiting here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't go away. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the White Mountains just wouldn't be the same, I think, without our Jubilee concerts. Well, thank um, you for saying that. Uh, we're in our 28th year, so it's, uh, it's a lifetime for some people. <laughs> and, and once you get in, you guys also have, uh, uh, seems like a never ending list of raffle prizes, too. So we do. You're you can right. also support them that way. <laughs> and and you're, you're probably going to win something because they have so many of them. Yes, we have over 100 prizes for the summer. Um, about 33 or 4 every, and sometimes more, each of the concerts. People who have already bought raffle tickets are still in the raffle, and people who haven't can buy them or buy more, <laughs> a book of seven tickets for $10. And mm. it's a fun way to support Arts Jubilee. It is a fun way. It's I noticed great. in the uh, the back page of the paper today, there's a list of all the raffle sponsors and yes. information on the concerts if you need more. What about on the, on the web? Is there a way people can get information there on the is. web? There um, is. It's a pretty easy website to remember. It stands for Mount Washington Valley Events, except it's mwvevents.com. Easy enough. Yeah, it's well, right there. Thank you very much. Is there anything we missed? I don't think so. You th did it, and I think it's going to be an awesome <laughs> concert. I think it will be, and, and as long as uh, my wife and I are having a baby at that hour, we'll be there. All right. Hopefully, that concert will inspire our. There you go. She likes music. We brought her to the Cranmore concert on Thursday, and, and she was happy. She was dancing. Oh, good. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, we have great <laughs> emergency service in this Perfect. town, and they come to the concert. We will test so their you're, expertise. You're, you're absolutely cool. <laughs> uh, so that's this Thursday. Uh, what time does Jonathan Sardi start? Jonathan start. <laughs> Jonathan Sardi starts. Say <laughs> yeah, that. That three times fast. Uh, at six o'clock. Okay. And the White Mountain Boys and the uh, Wind Symphony takes the stage at seven. And that's all at Cranmore this Thursday. Uh, we'll be right back with more White Mountains today. Thank you. Thank you. But the outdoor experts at Appalachian Mountain Club's Pick'em Notch Visitor Center and